In this video, I'm going to look at updating the Dell BIOS on an Optiplex 790 using FreeDOS. This is because the A22 BIOS update didn't run on Windows 10 32-bit. And I was trying to update from A15 to A22. So I had to update using FreeDOS. So what I'm going to do is download the BIOS update and I'm going to download Rufus to make the FreeDOS bootable USB. So I've got an old 2GB USB flash drive from an old conference which I'll use as the FreeDOS bootable USB. So let's launch Rufus and the USB is at the top and under boot selection we're going to select FreeDOS now the partition scheme and file system will be MBR and FAT and these will be the defaults because the FreeDOS bootable USB only supports a legacy boot. So it's possible that this won't work for systems that are released in 2020 and later because Intel is going to introduce class 3 UFI systems which will not be able to disable secure boot or use a legacy boot. Okay, so we're going to copy the BIOS update to this USB flash drive. And I realize many people following this video will in fact be using Linux. So I'm going to also create the FreeDOS bootable USB in Ubuntu. Now, what we can do is go to disk and format this USB and let's just call it USB and in order to make the FreeDOS bootable USB we need to use a tool called UNET Bootin so to do this we're going to open up Firefox and type in UNET Bootin and there are instructions for installing it on Linux. So we basically need to copy and paste these three lines into the terminal. Okay, so let's copy and paste the first line and then I'll ask for a password. So let's type in our password and then we'll need to press Y to proceed with the install. So once this is done, we're going to copy and paste the second line. And finally, we'll copy and paste the third line. And when prompted, press Y to continue. Okay, I'm going to leave the terminal open just now, so UNET button doesn't launch properly all the time. So if I go ahead and try and launch it, I just get this blank box. So apparently you can launch it properly using the terminal by typing sudo then space then qt underscore x11 underscore no underscore mit shm equals one space Unit boot in. Okay, so once it's launched, we're going to select FreeDOS. And then let's just check that we've got the right USB. Yep, it's SDB. So we can just select OK. And Unit boot in will create our FreeDOS bootable USB. Okay, so what we need to do is also copy the BIOS update to this bootable USB. So let's just go to downloads.dell.com, select Optiplex 790 and download this A22 BIOS update.
and let's copy it over to the bit of a USB. Okay, so I'm going to take the bitable USB that I made from Rufus and I'm going to boot from it. So I'll power up the Dell and press F12 to get to the boot menu. And as I mentioned, it's a legacy boot. So it's going to be the USB under legacy. And what we're going to do is type in DIR to get the directory and we'll see the file for the BIOS update is listed. So we're just going to type in its file name. So this is 0790-a22.exe and then we get information about the BIOS update and we can press Y to proceed and then Y to proceed again. And as you see, it's going ahead and it's updating the BIOS for us. Okay, so just leave the computer B to update the BIOS and certainly don't try to power it down during the BIOS update because doing so will break the motherboard and render your system completely useless. So the BIOS update is successful and now the version is A22 and basically logging back into Windows and I can press Windows and R and type in MSN 432. And once again, we can see that the version is A22. Right, the FreeDOS bootable USB created by UNet Bootin is slightly different. So let's go ahead and boot from that now. So once again, power up the Dell and press F12. And then get to the boot menu and under legacy boot select USB storage device. So just select default and then you'll get the options to install but we want to select option 2 and not to load any drivers. So the next difference is that it loads from A instead of C directly so we need to change to C. Then we can list the directory as before and then type in the name of the BIOS update as you see it's listed in the directory and we can press Y to get information about the update and as we see it's the same so I'm just going to press N to cancel the update 